Dear colleagues, uh, I'm glad to introduce the use of the buccal pedicle flap for pre implant soft tissue uh, boosting. I'm Giorgio Tabanella, an American board certified in uh, both periodontics and implant dentistry, and my field of expertise is the return of failures in dental medicine. This is a, a classic a clinical situation where we're dealing with uh, a chronic periapical lesion and external root resorption on both central incisor associated with the fistula. The fistula is uh, uh, creating also a buccal fenestration, but it's quite visible also the uh, external root resorption on the sagittal cuts on the right hand side towards the palatal aspect. We're dealing with a patient with a high risk profile, the patient is a smoker, uh, we have a very um, high patient expectations, uh, we're dealing with a high smile line and a very thin phenotype. First we need to eradicate periodontal disease, then we're going to perform orthodontic realignment, extraction of central incisor, immediate implant placement, and then we're going to boost the pre-implant mucosa by using the buccal pedicle flap. This is the time of immediate extraction placement and simultaneous guided body regeneration to correct the fenestration, to repair the fenestration, also to create a buccal bone balcony. At the time of uncovery, after four months, I'm going to perform the buccal pedicle flap and also I'm going to use simultaneously the fibroguide. The fibroguide will be trimmed towards its border so that uh, the border itself will not approach the vertical incision of the buccal pedicle flap. This is a um, tricky part of all the uh, procedures. Uh, generally, I don't reduce the thickness of the fiber guide except for, again, just the, uh, the border. Uh, this is uh, how the tissue looks like immediately after uh, the pedicle is translated towards the buccal aspect, which is quite useful also to reposition the mucogingival junction and to increase the depth of the vesicle without performing any kind of uh, advanced uh, uh, procedures. Uh, we need to create the wrinkles during the buccal pedicle flap and then we're going to deliver a uh, provisional which is measly cantilevered. We're going to extract number 11 and of course implant being placed. So now we're performing a second buccal pedicle flap on area number 11 with the use also of fibroguide and again I'm going to use a monofil monofilament uh, sutures. This is the results after both buccal pedicle flap, eight weeks after, allowing the tissue to uh, mature properly. We do have, of course, a good thickness of the pre mucosa, a good band of keratinized mucosa itself, and of course, a, finally, a good biomimetic uh, at the level of both central incisor after this long period of uh, uh, treatment. Well, so which are the key points here? Uh, first of all, uh, we need to insert the implant in the prosthetic driven direction. Then, of course, we need to have a good thickness of the buccal uh, bone balcony. And then, of course, we need to manage properly the soft tissue, which will create a perfect ceiling around the neck of our implant.